Were you told you were shy? Do you identify as shy? Do you hate that word now? Do you just wish you could get over it and get on with your life? Welcome to Shining Beyond Shy, empowering you to create a greater life than you ever thought was possible. With your Shining Beyond Shy host, Fiona Cups. Hi, everybody, and welcome to this week's episode of Shining Beyond Shy. I'm your host, Fiona Cuts, and this week it's called Being the Joy That Melts Your Problems. How does it get better than this? I actually love this. I love the idea that when we're joy, our problems, whatever problems means, just evaporate. And as shy people, I know for me, that I could often have quite a negative view on life. I could often see the stuff that I had going on, the problems that I had in not wanting to talk to people, not wanting to present to people, not wanting to be seen by people. All of that, those problems would kind of get into my head and go round and round in circles and things would, um, disin um, that's not quite, I was going to say disintegrate. No, not disintegrate. Things would deteriorate, that's the word. And I would find myself in a rabbit hole of negativity. And far from that space of being the joy that would melt the, the problems that were going on. And so I'd love to give you a specific example and I know this is something that I've talked about several times and when I've been traveling in Albania and Montenegro and now Croatia. So these are all countries where it's completely acceptable if you need to construct a house to just go for it and construct it <laughs> any time of day and night. Maybe not any time of day and night in Croatia. I think you may remember my story in Albania where they started construction at 11 o'clock at night and went through the night. <laughs> so it's not that bad here, but they do. I mean, it's hot here at the moment. I mean, fortunately, we had some rain and it's now 26 degrees. It was like well above 30. And um, so they start early in the morning, they start at seven. And so I chose to stay in a place that calls itself on Airbnb, silent, cozy studio or something like that. And it is a really, really, really nice place in a cute part of town. And I think, I mean, it's not silent, um, but I think under normal circumstances, it would satisfy even me with its quietness. And you know me, I love silence, I love quiet. I love that kind of relaxation when I don't hear anybody. <laughs> I really like that. And so on the first, when I arrived last Sunday, I noticed <laughs> there was this house in construction right next door. I mean, really, really, really close. And for some reason, on the Monday morning, there, there wasn't any construction, but it started and it started at seven in the morning. And, you know, I have my computer with me. I'm doing loads of stuff online. I, as I say, I love quiet and I also require quiet for things like this podcast and other videos that I'm doing. And um, so today I changed my day around. I was going to do this podcast and I pre-recorded another one. I was going to do it in the morning. And honestly, it was so loud. I didn't do it in the morning. But I realized that I had a choice. I had a choice to do actually what I have done many times in the past when I was in Albania. Just go into this whole thing of this fucking country. I hate it here. They're all so stupid. They don't understand how wow, bad noise is for you. They just go for it. They don't care. All of that negativity. I had that choice. Or I could just be, you know what? To be honest, <laughs> guess what, boys and girls? To be honest, at the moment, my life is very, very good. It's like there's a load of stuff that I've asked for that's coming in. I'm choosing to stay in this beautiful, amazing country, Croatia. I'm meeting amazing people. I'm going dancing. I'm having bar swaps. And I'm just loving it, basically. And there's an ease in my world with certain things that I haven't had before. And I'm like, am I really going to allow these construction guys, <laughs> one of whom rather likes me and is flirting with me, 
Thank you very much. Am I really going to allow these construction guys to ruin my week here in Zagreb? So I'm up near Zagreb um, for a week before going back down to the coast in Zadar. Am I really going to allow this situation to ruin my life for a week? Am I really going to go into this and I can't work and I can't this and I can't that? And it's funny because the couple who own this place, they have their kind of real normal jobs, but she's an artist and there are amazing paintings everywhere. And he is an Ayurvedic practitioner, a massage practitioner, a, a sort of a meditation person. So it's like they, they have that sort of alternative vibe about them. And it's really pleasant being in this space, being in this attic space that they have. Um, and it's like, why wouldn't I enjoy it? Why would I allow this um, to ruin my week? And why would I stop this, 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 this more enjoyment of my life that's coming in, more enjoyment of everything? Why, why would I choose to stop that? You know, when we talk about happiness is just a choice, I kind of have struggled with that for exactly this reason. It's like when it's going boom, 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 boom in my head and I can't do what I want to be doing. It's like, I've been like, well, that's not fun. How can I be happy with that? But here's the thing, what I noticed is, well, yeah, I can be happy. And I've literally been lying in bed at seven o'clock in the morning like, okay, how does it get better than this? And fortunately, when I was in um, Kuwait, actually, I bought these little um, mobile um, ear pod things. And what do you call them? AirPods. Anyway, so, but, but, so basically, I've been moving around my little studio in the mornings when they've been um, doing the construction work. I've, I've just put some brown noise on YouTube, and I've just wandered around with my, with my headphones in. And... Yeah, is, is it what I really want to be doing? No, probably not. But actually, it really is effective at keeping out the noise. And beyond that, I've noticed that if I'm really, really willing to not go to the trauma and drama, if I do have stuff to do, I can, if, if I'm willing to put my attention on the stuff I'm doing, at a certain point, I get absorbed in that, even if there is the noise. And I have to say, I've also asked for miracles with the noise. And it's really interesting because it could be that they're banging away from seven in the morning till four in the afternoon every day, nonstop. It could be that. But there have been days when they haven't been there and it was supposed to be raining. It wasn't actually raining that hard. So it's like I didn't have to have rain in order to have no noise. But there were days when it was supposed to be raining and they weren't there. There were days that they started later. There are days that they've been there where the work just hasn't been so intrusive. And that came from me asking for ease. But really the thing that I want to give you is my choice to continue being joy. And when you are joy, it does melt the difficulty. It's like I've had a really pleasant week here, really pleasant. I mean, it's funny, if I like this place, I'd probably come back from time to time because at the moment I'm, I don't have a, a place where I'm staying and I will have a place for longer in Zagreb. And this could have been a good base to find a place in Zagreb. So I won't willingly put myself in this position again. It's like it's not somewhere that I would come back to until the construction work is done. And this joy that I be, I'm willing to be it even with construction work. I'm willing to be it even with some stuff that's been going on with my businesses that hasn't been that easy. I'm willing to be it with whatever I've had. Um, I had a bit of a run in with someone in one of my businesses. I'm willing to be joy, even with that going on. You know, it was kind of touch and go if we could keep going with a business that we both love. And yes, we are keeping going. And 
our relationship is greater through both of our choices to be present and both of our choices to continue to be the joy, even in the difficult situation. So let me give you a question and a clearing. So what joy are you that can melt the problems around you? So anything that doesn't allow you to be that, to choose that, would you destroy and uncreate it? Right and wrong, good and bad, problem for call nine shorts, boys, po bats and beyonds. So that's the access consciousness clearing statement. If you've been on this podcast before, you'll know it. If you're already involved with access consciousness, obviously you'll know it. If you're new, then go to theclearingstatement.com, the aptly named website where you'll be able to listen um, to the co-creator, Dane here, of Access Consciousness, talking about it. And you'll also be able to um, read about it. For now, just know that it's a magic wand that can undo limitations. So in this case, it can undo those places where you're not willing to be joy to, um, to melt problems or where you don't even believe that what I'm saying even makes sense, that joy could ever melt problems. It starts to dissolve all of that without you even having to know how it does it. How does it get better than that? So let's just do this as well. What joy are you? that you don't even want to know you are, that you're pretending that you're not, that if you allowed yourself to be it, would change everything. All of the energy, all of the points of view in the way of that, would you destroy and uncreate them? Right and wrong, good and bad, pot and pock, all nine shorts, boys, coverts and beyonds. So go forth and be joyful, my friends. Go forth and be the joy that melts your problems. And if this episode, if you've liked it, if you like, if you know people who could benefit from it, please forward it to them. If you have shy people in your life who you know could benefit from this podcast, from this episode, from other episodes, please, 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 please share it. These tools are magic for changing so many things, including shyness. You know, shyness was a debilitating, horrible thing for me. And I see that with some of the people who come to my classes or people who choose to listen to this podcast. It can be debilitating and horrible. Please, um, please give the shy people in your life the chance to find out about these tools. I would love all the shy people on the planet to know about this chance they have to well, to let go of their shyness and to shine beyond shy and live amazing lives. So do your friends a favor and share this. <laughs> Thank you so much. And I will see you next time. Bye-bye. Thank you so much for listening to this podcast. I'm so grateful for you. It would be great if you could subscribe. Great if you could even review wherever you're listening. And if you'd like some quick, simple tips to overcome shyness wherever you are, please go to my website fionncuts.com where you can download my free product, 5 Steps to Overcoming Shyness Wherever You Are. Thank you again, and see you next time.